for equipment endorsements isn't exactly drying up, but it's hardly a torrent as companies of all sizes look to control costs in a recession. This economy puts a tighter squeeze on an endorsement environment that has been contracting for five years, depending on who you talk to. Still, here's a snapshot of what a Q School grad might be able to get. The upper end of the ranges would be for players who may have already visited the PGA Tour at the lower end for rookies. What you could get depends on who you are and where you are in your career. It is going to change the golf industry. I think it is going to change the guys getting their cards this year. I think a lot of the club manufacturers are going to, you know, not have all the money out there for us. And a lot of this corporate, corporate world is not going to have what, what they've had in the past. And, you know, we'll see what happens. You know, I've had a great relationship with Callaway Golf for a long, long time, 16 or 17 years. I'm frankly tough with them as well. And so, uh, I'm not in the same boat as some of these other young kids that are coming up, but I'm sure that anybody who shows promise is going to be signed. Uh, the companies still have budgets, and they still are seeking players who are going to represent them well. And uh, so if the shoe fits, you know, that'll work out. And if it doesn't, I think they'll, people will be looking elsewhere. And while the dollars might not be way down, agents and manufacturers both report that some players who can get a bird in the hand now are willing to take less money perhaps 5 to 10 percent less than they were paid by the same company last year. Others will agree to carry more of their endorsement partners clubs than last year's minimum or add a day or two of promotional service to the company. One reason, there are simply fewer companies willing or able to show up for endorsement deals. These players going into 09 are going to see a pretty significant healthy reduction from retainer payments from 2003 to 7 versus what it's going to be moving forward. Still, there may be silver linings. Agent Jonathan Albrecht, who represents Marco Dawson, Chris Couch, and others, says now may be the time for equipment companies to shop. With Tiger on the way back, the tour's solid image, its TV exposure, and guys willing to accept less money, opportunities may be out there. Which is another way of saying every shot or economic twist makes someone happy and someone unhappy. Ian? Adam, thanks. Still ahead, Tommy Ganey, Sunday charge at this.